Hot mic. Alright, we got the light. Okay, cool. We got that. <sighs> I should have. At least you got that on. I was going to say, I should have stopped waiting for this. <laughs> so, you, you got. Oh, I mean, no one knows the Patriots you, house. You, you are. You are the new Texan fan. Yeah, the one well, the Patriots house, so we're good. Texan fan, Deshaun fan, Patriot South, whatever. Patriot South. It's yes. all right. Patriot South. The true Patriot. The Patriot true South. Patriots. Yeah. No, I don't think so. You can't even say that with a straight face. Yeah, the true Patriot. The, the true, true Patriot, Patriot South. South. Really? Think about it, man, bro. Uh, then you got the Texans with nothing but what? Esther B. Cicero? Cicero? Cicero. 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 See, and he's supposed to be the Patriot fan. Really? But I can't even I say the guy's name. Still, uh, whatever. Romeo Carnell still like a assistant, uh, not assistant, but associate counsel, counsel, whatever. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not much better. You know, here you're wearing your Deshaun Watson, and I'm wearing good old Aggie colors. Uh, not intentional. It was a shirt that I wore at work today. <laughs> so, hey. Welcome, sport fans, to another edition of Half Big Sports. And yes, we're down to two. And there were two. And, and there were two. But that's okay. Uh, John hopefully will be here for this Super Bowl or whatever future video yeah. we decide to do. I don't know yet. <laughs> we're still working this thing out. This is just for fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Yes. Probably Chuck. Mm, no. Nah. <laughs> All right, a um, lot of things going on, and of course, not enough time to cover it all. Uh, obviously, I think the, the I mean, we're going to save the juicy stuff for last. I, I know you've got a lot of commentary on the Brian Flores thing. Yes, I do. And of course, we wish we could have spoken on it when it first broke out, but there's a lot of development since then. Um, we're definitely going to save that for last. That might even be a separate segment, because I, I know we got a lot to say on that. Yes, sir. So let's just go ahead and down the line. I mean, these are some of the... The big coaching uh, changes uh, coming up. First and foremost, it's for in Houston. Texans, go ahead and grab head coach, Lovey Smith. Good choice. I like it. I love it. Right? I love it. I mean, it, it gives us something to look for. Now, for me, and I think we, we had actually talked about this a little bit uh, earlier, uh, the true test is whether or not you can get Deshaun on the field. That could save the franchise right there, I, I believe. Yes. I, and and then you did point out that there is an opening for the OC, right? Offensive right. coordinator is open. Yes, sir. Uh, and of course, uh, the been. enemy is available. So this would be a chance to salvage whatever relationship you can you can have with Deshaun Watson. I, once again, I'm kind of skeptical. I mean, after everything that he's been through, and, if, and of course, if, if they do repair that and all those cases mysteriously disappear, what does that say about the NFL? It is what we thought they were. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is what we thought they uh, were. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely a lot of interesting things that are going to come out of that mess. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing how those chips fall. I mean, I, I, me personally, you could, I would rather present a best case scenario for Deshaun. Mm -hmm. to, so he can, t I would put a more of a yes out there for him than a thing out there for him to still say no. So like with Lovey Smith's hiring, yep. going to get Eric Benjamin. Like I said, uh, you can give him what five, eight million dollars. I wouldn't much? go eight, but maybe five or six. Five or six. How Offensive we... coordinator for a couple of years, you know, per year for a couple of years. Yeah. To see how it goes. See how it goes, and then, uh, uh, but include Deshaun in that hole, make it seem like he's part of that decision making. Let him do that, so you can get that gain a little bit of grounds of that trust back, even if not trust, at least a business relationship yep. with him, because you've already paid him. You're already paying him. So you might as well utilize him. And I don't care what people say. He may have sat out this entire year. He's ready to go. He's still top five. I'm sorry. I mean, if, if you, if you let him go and he comes back to Houston, be prepared for a national thing. Right. And then also, what else is out there? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's what I said. Like, uh, you and don't get me wrong. I like what I saw of David Mills. I know you made a comment. You right. David saw, Mills was And he's okay. a solid backup. Very good. Support. Solid backup. Uh, he could come in like a, a John Kendrick. For the Dallas. Oh, yeah. He could come in, do what he got to do for a little bit, and then he got to get out. Because if you keep him in there too long, he's going to do what the backup does. So, Predictable. Uh, and then go ahead and get some uh, receiver core going, maybe the offensive line. Me, personally, I would be trading off Lur Lurmy Tunsil to get some of that salary cap back. And uh, build with uh, uh, offensive Well, I mean, line. right now, I, I would be keeping an eye on who you might be able to snag in the draft. 
Right. Because Laramie Tunsil is inflated salary. Right. He's not as effective as he could be. Right. He's the and, penalties. And I would, I, I seriously would. I would be looking at some of the guys from Alabama, maybe some from you know, Wisconsin, right. or maybe some of the other teams in the Big Ten. Yep. You know, get get a nice corn-fed, you know, left tackle. Yep. That's fresh. Yep. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, just build your ta- just build your all run off the scratch. Uh, yeah, there are gonna be some bumps and bruises along the way. If this is assuming Deshaun's back. This is the soon. Well, actually, he's, he's a good scrambler, so you know right. He's a good scrambler. He's used to not having that much protection anyway. So at least you're salvaging your uh, your quarterback at least for the least. Well, that was the contract was for four years, right? Yeah, at least got for it. four years. You already lost one more. Yeah. So, so you got three more. Was, was this the first year of the? This was your first year of the contract. Oh wow! So you so lost one three. So you got three more. Well, negotiations years. negotiations are can open up in two, but you've got another three. Right, but if you. Eventually, you're going to trade, and you got to do the same thing with whatever quarterback you're going to bring in. Pretty so. much. All right. So, uh, yeah, like it. You heard our comments. Uh, next up, which I like, uh, well, surprising, starts off with Sean Payton walking away from NOLA. I'm sorry. I mean, I ever since I've moved here, it, well, actually, ever since Drew Brees went to the Saints, I, I liked Drew Brees when he left San Diego. I understood. I saw the articles. I saw... I saw that he had a shoulder injury. I knew it was a business decision. I understood it. I didn't like it. I accepted it. But, you know, as much as I was still a, a kind of a Charger fan, Rivers grew on me. And, uh, you know, I still followed uh, Drew Brees. I still loved watching him over at the Saints, especially when he got the Super Bowl. Right. I love how aggressive Sean Payton was. I like how he runs his offense. Um, so, yeah, I, and watch him walk away after all these years. I'm... I'm just shocked, and of course uh, they pick up. They go to decide to promote with from within, and they go with uh, their defensive coordinator Dennis that's Allen. Yep, that's a very good pickup. Yeah. I mean, well, that uh, well, he does have head coaching experience from uh, like it was it 12, 2012, 2014 over at the Raiders as the interim head coach over there. Well, then also with the Saints because remember Sean Payton got suspended. That's right for the suspension. So yeah, so he's definitely got the experience. He's within. I like the hire. He's probably going to keep the culture moving forward. So I don't see too many bumps in the road. Obviously, well, he's going to have to hire his replacement. Well, that and uh, Alvin Kamara. Oh, because he just got arrested. He, well, the, uh, well, I mean, he got a charge. He's out, and he's got yeah. the charges. Yeah, assault and battery. So luckily, it's not. What that's going if it was a DUI where you know somebody died, then we might have to worry about. It. Right. But luckily, it's you know simple well, you assault. Know he's going to pay to go that way. Well, you know the NFL's on player conduct off field, so they might suspend him for a couple of games. Yeah, and then he can appeal. He can probably he's, what they're going to go with four. They're going to then they're going to appeal it, and they're going to settle on two or three. Okay, that's my prediction at least. But uh, and, and quarterback situation, right? Um, of course, John Harbaugh. He won. He 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 played like he was going to come back to the uh, NFL interview over with the Vikings. Yeah, and then apparently said, eh. "Well, I don't blame him. You know, stay I mean, in Michigan." Collect your eight million a year, right? And uh, you know what? Stay in college because really, we don't want another Harbaugh Bowl. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Yeah, Jim. Yeah. Stay there. Yeah. Um, Although he is a thorn in my Iowa Hawkeyes side. <laughs> oh well, I'll um, deal with that later. But uh, but no, I think uh, Vikings, according to this, are looking at picking up the OC from the Rams. Oh, Kevin O'Connell. Yeah. I I kind of like that pick. Uh, I mean, is he really? Well, think about it. they got rid of Zimmerman, and I and I don't I don't I mean I don't think he's like great in in the realm of like the best of the o- OCs out there, but I mean it's not a bad pick with that defense that they have over in, in the Vikings and the but, but that's true and Zimmerman's defense true, but with the but with the defense that they have the offensive components that they have I think that the uh, that he would be a good job coming in to see what he has so he has to stick with Kirk Cousins. He doesn't necessarily have to. I mean, he can shake things up and find somebody else. Mm-hmm. That's a tall order right there. I, I personally like Kirk Cousins. Well, I mean, I think about it. I mean, the rumor is, is that... He beat Dallas multiple times. Yeah, well, I mean, but the rumor is, is that, you know, Green Bay's, let, you know, walking away from or letting Aaron Rodgers go. So, Aaron, so Green Bay may not be the dominant force in, in that division anymore. So, if... Wow, well... Right? Brett Farm went to Minnesota and then Brett oh. Rogers go to Minnesota. Oh, that would, I, I highly doubt that because that would be funny though. That would be funny, but you know Rogers funny. doesn't want to be in his never wanted to be in the shadow oh, in the first yeah. place. So yeah, but that would still be funny. This would. <laughs> that well, would you, one, one place you know he's not going, which would be even funnier, 
Chicago. Detroit. Oh no. <laughs> but he might be able to, he might be the one to be able to turn that around though. He would be, because then he would solidify the one thing they've been, you know. Well, actually, can you really say that? Because Stafford just went to another team and is now in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Rodgers goes to Detroit. Detroit tra- uh, trades golf maybe to Minnesota. Ooh. Nah. I don't know. These are all hypotheticals, yeah. and I don't know if I have enough brain power to figure this out. <clears throat> but no, so that one, uh, that one is another one. So. But, the, but also, I'm sorry to stay on that a little bit. No, that's good. <clears throat> My thing is... Hiring an OC behind a offensive-minded guru. You mean Sean McVay? Yeah. That, like, it doesn't make sense for me to hire him as a head coach because you don't know how much of play calling he actually is doing. So like, you're saying that in this scenario, they should probably hire him as the OC before they promote him? Right. Like, hire him as an OC. Get, like, a Cully person that you're going to hire for a year or whatever and then <laughs> see what he does. Boot that Cully, guy. you want to be a placeholder again for another year? <laughs> right. Just, just... Get a head coach in there for a temporary whatever. He he knows that he's only going to be there for a year or whatever. And then once you see how the play call goes for that guy, then yeah, you promote him. But I can't see myself hiring a head. I mean, a, 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 a OC as a head coach of my team and organization. And I and there's a offensive guru genius above him that's making all the play calls. So what are you doing? What are you? What are you, What is actually you in that offense? So and, I mean. And- so then you're basically saying that the uh, the OC really is just a filler position, kind of like when Kubiak was the head coach with the Texans. Right. Yeah. Because like, the like, offensive coordinator didn't have to do anything. Now, now Kubiak's situation is a little bit different. You can see Kubiak's style in Mike, Mike Shanahan's offense because mm-hmm. he was the OC for uh, the, the Broncos for both years. They That's won. true. Okay. But then when Kubiak, left, when they hired him, you saw Michael, Han- Michael uh, Shanahan's offense of some of his stuff, but then you also saw Gary Kubiak's stuff. Well, so that's, that's because thing. I think he took elements of, the, of Kubiak, especially the zone blocking for the running game, right. that kind of stuff. And it, and it translates well. I mean, when you take certain elements and make it your own, that's what makes a good offensive coordinator, defense coordinator, and uh, definitely something to look for. That's why Shanahan's so successful. Right. Same thing like with ben and me. Okay, cool. Yeah. He's with Ben Ray. Er, 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 Reed for the, Andy Reid, sorry. Mm-hmm. He's been with Andy Reid for the past four years. Past four years, they've been to the conference. Yep. Past four years. I'm not sitting here, I'm not going to sit here and promote Eric Benemy. Like like I'm saying, he's the, a guru. I'm saying it's the proof is in the pudding. Andy Reid even said he does the play calling. Yep. So if he's doing the play calling and he's been there four years straight, this is no brainer. I'm not going to go get an OC, which is segue into the well, last And one. even though his contract is up. Yeah. It, it will be, you know, I'm, I'm almost confident they will get, uh, they'll get something in place. I'm sure right. they're going to they're gonna keep the enemy. But if he does become available, Texans would be stupid not to grab him. As an OC, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. So, uh, so yeah, so we got that one. Uh, the only other, the next two that we're going to talk about are Dolphins and Jags. We'll start with Dolphins, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, they Surprising. pick up the San Francisco <laughs> offensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. Which made zero absolute sense, like we just talked about. What in Kyle Shanahan? Kyle Shanahan, we know he's like his father. He runs the offense. What is this guy contributing to the team outside of emotional support? I, I, I don't know. Um, and you made him a head uh, coach. I, I was actually kind of surprised because, kind of like what Skip Bayless said on his. Uh, you know, podcast or video this morning or yesterday. Uh, he didn't even know who he was until he saw him celebrating one of their wins recently in the box. Yeah. So, and I have to agree, you don't hear his name. You hear, you hear Shanahan's name, Kyle Shanahan, you hear that one. Yeah, he... and, and occasionally, uh, I don't can't give it up, but I've heard the defensive coordinator's name. Didn't even hear, you know, um, Mike McDonald, M- McDaniel. So, I don't know, A only time will tell. One thing that was pointed out, and I think we had this discussion a few days ago, you can see the tr- the trend that they're trying to do and replace all the old guard with new. Yep. All these young and up and coming head coaches and coordinators, they want to give them in, you know, in those head coaching spots. Why? Because high fiving and, and, and chest bumping these players, is, you know, it, it's exciting and it gets all the younger viewers, viewers in there, which. Yep. Uh, they're going to kill NFL if they keep trying to push a trend on what should be sports competition. 
And the problem with that is, is so you got this thirty-eight year, a thirty-eight year old coach, head coach now, <laughs> barely, who, barely older than the than the oldest uh, players, right? And you got him in there. He's not proven. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't shown you anything. He doesn't show you that he's a leader of men. No. Okay. So you have him in there to do what exactly? You have Jim Caldwell out there. I'm not saying he's a deciding head coach like Sean McVay or Kyle Shanahan and them, no, but you're I'm right saying too. he's proven because he's turned around a couple of teams: Detroit, uh, uh, the Colts at the Dungy. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, I think Schwartz is out there. Jim Schwartz. Yeah, he's still out there somewhere. He's out there somewhere. Wasn't, isn't oh, actually last time I saw him, I think he was over with Eagles, and then he went. I think he retired. Didn't he? I, I think he went to the Titans, maybe. But um, uh, I don't know. I lost track. But you have coaches out there who are proven mm. and they know what they're doing, and you don't hire them. You hire some kid that you don't know. Even with, even not even a kid. I mean, two, well, you, you have at best two years, at best, two years of of him OCing, if that's what he truly did. what he did. And, yeah. and even with the uh, David Cully, uh, mm-hmm. Cully hiring, you got people uh, who have at zero least he, well, he has 30 years of assistant coaching. And I and I think that, yeah, as his first year head coach, he may have, he could have done maybe a little bit better, but I think he did an outstanding job with what he had. I, I We already had that discussion. We probably don't need to re- rehash it, but... Um, but it's just, I don't understand. See, nowadays, the reason why the NFL is kind of dying out is because now the owners are taking, the owners had control of the NFL, but they're now led to be known, I have control of, I have control of this team. Because no GM or uh, a player, director of player personnel will hire these type of coaches. That doesn't make sense. Because now you're hiring somebody that, that you don't know that's a question mark. So if you, uh, most franchises, like um, the Rooney family, even, even with Dallas, <clears throat> even I'll give Dallas credit, where they're more consistent with their head coaches. That's true. Um, they don't have this up and down carousel with their coaches. Uh, same thing with like with New England, obviously. Although I, I think we can both agree that McCarthy is on the hot seat right now. He is, but <clears throat> like I said, even with McCarthy with the past couple of years, at least they had winning records mm-hmm. compared to what they had with uh, oh, Garrett, yeah. eight and eight seasons. With a hot team. Oh yeah, exactly. So I would rather. That's why I, I could see I, I could see Jerry Jones not moving off of McCarthy. No, because they, at least they, I'm a what was it? eleven and it was, it was 13, 10, 11 10, a, ten and seven or eleven and six this year. I think they were eleven and six this year. Solid win against the division. Last they, year they, they were scooped the division, win. right? Like yeah, all six games. And um, no, last year they were seven and uh, seven and nine. Because remember, or nine and seven. Yeah, because remember whoever had the seven, first one to seven won. The but division, either you know? way, it's like. You can definitely see a market of, an improvement in Dallas, especially right. with the offense. Their defense has room for improvement, but they they improved mildly over this this course of uh, the season. Um, the their problem was is that they got hit in the mouth by San Francisco and they didn't expect it. Yep. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to the last one. Jags hire Doug Pedersen as their head coach. Um, I, I know the caption was that he knows it's not going to be a quick turnaround. This is definitely going to be a rebuild, which is good. That means they're at least in for the long haul. They're going to give him probably a solid two, maybe three years. And if he does, if he does right by the Jacksonville, I like Trevor Lawrence. I think that he is capable. I'd like to see what he can do with some weapons. Mm-hmm. Uh, they ne- they need to get a running game going. Mm-hmm. They definitely need to get a tight end and a receiver. And uh, I mean, for the most part, their offensive line wasn't terrible, but. Defensive wise, what do you think they need on the defense? Um, I think the defense was all right because remember the games were like blowouts. No, they weren't. I think the, what they need is offensive. What well, they don't well, outside. Of, I mean, wide receivers. It's mainly so they need the they offensive need, weapons mainly. They mean mainly the offensive weapons. I mean, on defense, you need better. Um, you have still have Miles Jack at the outside linebacker position, and you got Allen on the interior. Mm-hmm. I mean, on the on the line. I think if you solidify the line a little bit more and probably get another back, uh, a better uh, uh, I'm linebacker out there, yep. the defense will be secured. Uh, offensively wise, you need some weapons like like you need like a, a, a I want to say Julio Jones, but a, a type of person, a big receiver out there. Uh, I'm trying to think of one right now. Um, 
Okay, the, uh, 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 Devontae Adams, his contract's mm-hmm. up. Yep. I will, if I was Jacksonville, I'm making all my plays to him. The, uh, get, or get or to try him. to pick up some good talent from the draft. Well, that too. But I'm, I'm just saying, immediate right now, get fans in Devontae, the seats, get people yeah. there. I can you know see that, that Trevor Lawrence, hey, we're putting our effort into you. Mm-hmm. I give him Trevor Lawrence the number one receiver in the league. Yep. Boom, right there. And, if, yeah. that, and you can you feel you, from you, that. If you can get him for the right price, my well. That's why I said, me personally, I wouldn't have went with Doug Peterson. I would have went with Brian Lethwich. Mm, I but like Brian. That's just me because he has history there. He was the quarterback there for all those years. Um, well, of course, if it was me, I wouldn't have got rid of Brian Flores. Yeah. Well, well yeah. That's, but that's me too. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the major changes. Obviously, there's probably a few that we don't know about or didn't read about um, and of oh, course don't care about because honestly I really don't care about who, who gets hired as the offensive and defensive coordinators. <laughs> We're going to see how that plays out next season. Well the Broncos have uh, uh, the Green Bay's offensive coordinator. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 They have him. Well I mean then you know Aaron Rodgers might be heading to Denver. Uh, Denver. 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 Anyway yeah. um, and of course on the closing note uh, Washington finally decided on their mascot the Commanders. The Commanders. I, and I love the Facebook meme. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, one, the Star Trek one. The Star Trek, yeah. <laughs> I I I knew it. I was like, at first I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then I got it. And I'm like, oh my god, that's funny. Did you see the one with the uh, Cobra Commander? No. You didn't see the one. With no. Cobra they have him and De- uh, 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 Dan Snyder shaking hands. The Cobra Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, that, that, I, 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 I say that on my Honestly, it's yeah. like if it wasn't for the memes, I would have been off Facebook years ago. Yeah, the, the memes keep the me. The memes keep me. Yeah. But uh, and here's a, here's a good hypothetical because I was you know talking with my with my Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and I go, well, if you guys are smart. Ben's gone, and Tomlin's been there forever. They need to make a play for Deshaun Watson. <laughs> yeah, they deal with trouble quarterbacks. So. Because, well, because with Juju there, and we saw what Deshaun can do with some okay talent. They didn't trade Juju. Juju was outside with. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm just saying. If, even if they keep him, even if they keep him, you know, with the talent that they had on the team, mm-hmm. Deshaun could come in and probably win and be competitive. Maybe even make the playoffs with the Steelers right now. Oh yeah, most definitely. So the that, is, that's that's my and, and of course. That's for you guys out there, my, my Steeler fans. I told you I'd put it out there. So all you guys that follow us, all two, four, five of you, comment below and let us know. It's Deshaun to the Steelers, yes or no? I, I, I mean, I like it. I, I mean, I would prefer it more, more than any. I would prefer I, I, I'd actually Texas. have to say, if it happens, I'm, it's buying, I'm buying the Steeler jersey. Oh, yeah, me too. I mean, because... And you know, when we go to the games, I'll wear the Steeler jersey. You can wear that one. But the thing is, is is the is Tomlin and the Rooney family going to make that move? Probably not, because the, uh, obviously with the whole you know cases against him right now. Right. But um, but honestly, with the talent, and, and if they interview the kid, if they talk to the kid, I think that they might make that risk. They might take it. That's a huge risk for that organization. Like the Raiders, I can see mo- making that move because yeah, they're, they're not going to get rid of Derek Carr. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like if they needed the quarterback, I can see the Raiders because the Raiders deal with nothing but trouble this is all the time. Yeah. So. Um. So that wraps up the little stuff right now, and we're gonna take a quick break and come back with the Brian for us. Washington Commanders. I know, right? Oh my gosh, horrible names. <laughs> How do you do the Google Commander? 